Hey there, welcome back to GG Gaming. So, we've got another 7-star Terror Raid boss for... Terror, another 7-star showcase video for Incineroar. There you go, that's what I wanted to say. This is going to be Iron Hands. This is the full crit damage Iron Hands, probably posted some other place. Shout out to Docile for this uh, recommendation in this one. Uh, built this one, works really, really well. Uh, so, as I said, got to take a viewer recommended Pokemon here that actually does work. A lot of you did shout out uh, the Malamar build, but already did that video, so... Keep it up in the future. Keep giving me ideas. You will get a shout out. So here we go. Iron Hands. Let's get to it. Okay, so as always with Iron Hands and every other Pokemon, let's go to the summary. What are we going to do? We are going to run a Fighting Terror type with the Scope Lens. This is going to be 100% critical damage Iron Hands, which is critical because this Incineroar uses bulk up. Push that defense up. Critical hits, ignore that. <laughs> awesome. So whoever did figure this out, no idea. Great job to them. This is an awesome build uh, with really only one weakness, and that is critical hits from Incineroar, as always with every other build. <laughs> All right, here's the move set that you want to run. Okay, so we're going to run Drain Punch, Iron Defense, Focus Energy, which of course is uh, boosting that critical chance, and then Sword Dance. All right, pretty straightforward. Iron Defense to boost our defense, Sword Dance to boost our attack power, Drain Punch, to do all the damage you know the deal here this is iron hands absolutely amazing here's the stats i'm going to run on this guy full attack full defense because we went down into the uh, crater caught this one just to try it for this that is why it's not shiny because my regular build for shiny doesn't go this way <clears throat> so there you have it and then abilities cork drive you can ignore that thing it's irrelevant can't use it can't change it so let's get to the fight and show you how this works Alrighty, here we are with Iron Hands. We got one Intimidate NPC and a healer, which is our Bolivia. So, even with just the one Intimidate NPC, this still is a challenge, especially if he gets buffed up really early and starts hitting very hard. Here's the name of the game with Iron Hands If he taunts you turn one, you're resetting. If he doesn't taunt you turn one, you're good to go. We'll see what happens. Wait this impossibly long amount of time for all of this stuff to happen. Got one of the longest turn zero cycles of all the raid bosses I've seen. Come on, there we go. Did not hit us. We are ready to pro pro proceed with this fight. So, we're going to wait. We're not going to start anything, do nothing. We're going to wait for 5% of the timer to tick off and for him to clear our stats. Once that happens, we will move into actually putting up iron defense um, and proceeding with the rest of our buffs. So, just sit here and wait. There you go. Fairly quick. Okay. Right into Iron Defense now. Iron Hands is fairly tanky. He's going to be all right. Um, I am going to use two Iron Defenses. I'm not going to do three. I need to save those turns. Um, two is going to be plenty for this, uh, for especially for the late game. Be just fine with that. Um, if you're getting critical hit and stuff like that anyway, it's, it's game over. It's irrelevant. Um, the Iron Defenses are really just to cover you against the, the Coded Earthquake. Flare blitzes and whatnot, especially during the double attack phase. But, um, let us roll on through. So, two iron defenses, and then we're going to go into focus energy and our sword dances. Okay. There's our focus energy. Now, all of our moves are 100% critical. Um, going to critical every single hit. It will shift over to Darkest Lariat once you do get the two Iron Defenses up. It will always do that because uh, Flare Blitz is resisted by your defensive stat. Darkest Lariat is not. It ignores your defense stat. So, uh, or the buffs from Iron Defense. It'll shift over to that, so you will take more damage, especially as he continues to buff. So that's why we need to hurry up and get through this. We can start doing some damage. You got one Sword Dance up. You want to get three of those. You're going to need three of those. So, we're straight into another one here. We're still 50% HP. Should be fine. Unless we get critical hit, then it's game over anyway. Welcome to 7 star raid. Full cut. Here we go. Nice. Alright. So, with that, his defense won't go any higher. His attack is fully maxed. I'm, I'm, I'm living on the edge here. 
I'm, I'm thinking if I use this sword dance, he may knock us out. Because he is fully maxed. Star Raptor is not doing his job. Feather dance. Yes, RNG that knocks down the stat, the attack stat, two points. But we should survive this. Unless it criticals. 50 HP. Star Raptor for the win. All right, we're ready to go. We are set. We're set up. I didn't say it was going to be easy. I just said it was doable. Okay, take a look at Iron Hands real quick. Here's what you're looking for. Attack is five. Because I forgot about the Intimidate at the beginning. No big deal. We're going to run it with five. Still does plenty of damage, as you see. As long as you don't get knocked out at this point, as long as there's, you know, not getting that critical hit, um, we are okay. We're going to easily heal the damage. Um, the kicker is the shield, and we still don't have our Terra Energy up. So this is kind of a little bit of dicey section here, too. Fortunately, with those criticals, you're still doing good damage. Get some good heals out of that. Enough to keep us full HP. Based on the last hit. Anyway. I really, really, really hate that Terra Orb steal right there. It's just like... Perfect time to be an annoyance. Fair hit stats, etc. No big deal. Right into a Drain Punch. We're going to need one more. Our Terra Energy. But as you see, we have no problem taking the hits at this point. As long as he doesn't get a critical. Hmm. Alright. Terra Energy is ready to go. Let's do this. Full max. Not full max. Five. Five attack. Now terastalized. Iron Hands. With 100% critical damage on his Drain Kisses. Going to be... Hear me at a Drain Kiss again. I'm all over that. Let me tell you. Drain Punch. <laughs> It'll be some good damage. That's what I'm trying to say. Plenty of damage to get through this. The thing is, is below 50% he starts a double attack, so of course a critical hit and another attack. Plus, he gets the coded Earthquake. Technically gets three attacks if he double attacks the same turn. Which should be right here. There's a good damage on that Darkest Lariat. There's the Earthquake. It's also going to hit us for a little bit. Question is, is he going to hit us with a third attack? No, we got lucky. All right, one more for the shield break. This is usually where he critical hits and takes me in. Cannot tell you how many times I've been critical hit one hit before the shield break. Dirty, my guy. Dirty. Two. Darkest Lariat. To knock us down to almost, almost got us there. He usually swaps the move. He usually doesn't do that, that one twice. Fully healed, and the shield is broken. He's going to get a move here. The sad part is, is it's still not a win. Because <laughs> he gets that critical hit. Now you may not even need it. Even he's going to take us out with this one. Yep. Zero. Rude. Okay. 
You know what? Don't use iron. Either. I've actually won with this one. I have won with this. This exact same setup. Played it through. RNG needs to go in your favor. But this is Elos. So I'm going to go Sword Dance because of the free move. He's not going to hit me. So we're going to take that two, ta two attack buff. And then I'm going to try to hit him here with the uh, Drain Punch. See if we can get uh, Charlotte Star Raptor there to start doing some some uh, work on his attack stat, but I do not believe this is a win. Yeah, game over. But either way, you get the idea. Have fun with your iron hands. Good luck. Better luck than I. Didn't say it was gonna win. We gave it a try, and I'm not redoing the video. So hit like, hit the sub button for the sake of doing it, and we'll see you in the next one.